Good evening. Shri uh, Dr. Anup Pujari, chief guest for the evening. All the other distinguished guests on the dais, uh, the, uh, the esteemed audience out here, all the delegates for this conference. I must start off by saying that it's a great honor to be here. I think the, the kind of enthusiasm that, that I've seen for this conference is overwhelming. Coincidentally, uh, I think the organized gold industry in India started around 96 when the government opened up the gold imports and um, liberalized the entire bullion industry. It also happened to be the same time that Edelweiss got started. And I think, uh, uh, I think in a way, all of us are products of the opening up of the Indian economy in some form or the other. Also, I think this conference is happening at a very important phase in the global economy. Uh, I think people don't know whether we are uh, you know, on the brink of a recession and depression in the world, or there is going to be huge inflation ahead of us because all the printing that is going on of the paper currency. We also have, I think, gold prices at almost all-time high. Uh, there's a huge crisis in quite a few parts of the world. Uh, Eurozone is in crisis. Even the BRIC countries, which are supposed to be the saviors of the world, have slowed down. There's a huge amount of uncertainty. And I think whenever we have uncertainty, we have found that investors flock to gold and they find it very comforting. And I think we are, we are currently seeing that also. I think on India also, we are at a, at a very important inflection point. We are coming out of quite a few issues of high current account gap, high fiscal deficit, high inflation, high interest rates, all of that. And I think the coming couple of years are going to be very, very interesting from that point of view. We do believe that Indian economy will, is starting to come back on track and will continue that. As you all know, India imports a huge amount of gold, and I think the current account gap has started to fo create a lot of focus on gold imports, because I think we have all seen articles which says that if you stop importing gold, all the current account uh, deficit that India has can easily go away. But I think it's, it's easy to say, a lot harder to do, because Indians have always had a fascination for gold. I think gold is a very important part of channelizing household savings, because India has a very large amount of household savings. Currently, in this year, we estimate household savings to be close to 500 US dollar billion. So I think we have the savings. We need something that Indian households can invest in. Gold happens to be one of the more important ones. And you know, historically, people have felt that Indian retail investors Indian households are not very smart. They always enter stock market at the peak. They always do things which are, you know, at an extreme. But if you have seen that investments in gold, that investments in real estate in the last few years, I think it shows that they have been the smarter ones. And I think the, the Indian investment in gold is not just an emotional, psychological one. I think it's also very grounded in reality of the world and the purchasing power of, uh, you know, the currency and all that. I think the a large part of the world is starting to realize the importance of gold in the last eight, 10 years. I think Indians have always realized it for many, many years. And we are starting to see that. So I think stopping gold imports uh, may not serve the purpose. What may serve the purpose is to increase the financialization of the bullion industry. I think we have started to see that. There has been some talk of, you know, uh, I think the bringing back of the gold bond schemes, uh, trying to create, I think the gold ETFs have been a fairly, big, a fairly big success. And we do believe that it's not only for the bullion industry, but the entire commodities industry in India, as we call it broadly, the agri-commodities, the bullion industry, all of that, are on the verge of rapid financialization. I think exchanges like MCX and all have already opened up the path for that. And the increased financialization will bring innovation, will bring transparency, will bring efficiency, and will also allow households to find channels to save their household savings, but at the same time, create productive structures for the economy so that those savings can be diverted into productive use. And our ability to find that, that crossroads, that overlap area where household needs are satisfied 
and the country's needs also satisfied is going to be the great opportunity and challenge for all of us. I think we do believe at Edelweiss that the entire bullion market is currently ready for another huge set of innovation. I think that is going to be uh, a lot of opportunity because household savings are, are going to continue to grow. As the economy grows, household savings will continue to grow and helping this household savings being invested in a smart and efficient manner is an opportunity in, in front of all of us. The IIGC brings together uh, some of the most experienced and the finest minds from the Indian and the global bullion industry. And I do believe that this conference uh, will be very exciting for all of us. It's going to be very interactive. And we will uh, we'll be able to grapple with quite a few opportunities and challenges in the coming few days. So again, thank you very much for being here. Thank you.